Alrighty, so let's start on this really easy look. Literally, it's simple. Um, I'm using Submissive as my eye base from Be A Bombshell. Very pretty, um, taupey, goldish brown. And I'm just going to use that as my eye base. So let's start this, right? I am not going to take it all the way up to my eyebrow, but I am going to take it above my crease. Excuse my children fighting in the background, as usual. Okay. And I'm going to be using my Reveal Palette that I got from the Bath and Body Freak, Miss Stephanie. I love this palette. I use it quite often. Alrighty, I'm just using one of my brushes that I got from my VIP palettes from Urban Decay. I believe this is, yeah, the Vice 2. And I'm going to take this shade right here very beautiful shade and I'm going to go on top over top of that base that we just put in And then I forgot to do something, so hold on. I'm going to go back and use that Be A Bombshell. Oops. And I forgot to get my inner corner, so. There you go. I just want that inner corner just a little shiny. Alrighty. Now we're going to go and back to our reveal palette and I'm going to use a mixture of this purple whiny color and this um, I don't know purpley shimmery brown ish color here I'm just going to mix them both with the fluffy end of my brush shake it off a little bit and you're going to I dab it so it's dark when you first start, but you don't have to. You can do it your own way. I feather it out, and then I bring it in. And excuse my neighbors they're playing their music really loud and then I'm gonna go and do that again just so I can darken it to match the other side So there's that, and then wipe off your dark color because you're going to use that fluffy brush again, fluffy fluffy, and I'm using um, a very light amount of, let's see here, this color here, um, it's kind of an orangey, champagne-y color, very pretty, and very light. And then I'm mixing it with the creamier, almost the like the naked color in the naked palette. So I just kind of mix the two. I take my 
thing. I kind of dab it off a little bit. And eyebrow time. Well, not eyebrow, but, you know, underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so that's that part. Pretty simple so far, right? Okay, so moving on, moving on. I'm gonna do my eyebrow really quick so you all can watch me. I'm actually using the same palette. It's got this nice little taupey brown color in it. Ugh. Wouldn't you know, the day that I want to do a video, they would turn on the music. And let me fill in these eyebrows really quick. Okay, done. Nah. So, for my eyeliner, I'm just going to use the black that's in here. This is quick, simple. We don't want to take too many things out. Just get it done, get going. You got kids to go attend to, you can hear mine. Or you got a day at work and you just wanna go. So what I did to add a little bit more pizzazz to it, I guess, is I took this sparkly purple right here and I went over the eyeliner and we're also gonna use it under the eye. But I'm gonna put it under my eye first because I don't want the black getting mixed in with it. Oh my goodness, ah. I forgot to dab. <laughs> It's okay. And then I'm going to take that color again. And I'm just going to go over the black just to kind of soften it just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to soften it a little bit. Add some mascara. I already curled before I started, so I grabbed the wrong mascara. Oh no, it's okay. I can use this too. Huh. Oh my good gravy. And that's it. That's the eye look all together. So here's totally everything that I use for my look. Um, I use the Reveal palette, which has beautiful colors. You know, I forgot how many it has, but it's got a lot. It's got 20 eyeshadow colors in it, and it's beautiful. Lovely, lovely. I used the Be A Bombshell Submissive Eye Base. And that's again what it looks like beautiful base and then for the rest of my face I'll go through that really quick oh and then I used well actually I used Maybelline um, mascara for this eye but I grabbed the wrong one sorry so for the rest of my face I used CoverGirl uh, clean whipped cream clean whipped cream foundation in 342 Thank you, Dawn. This is, I got this from Dawn, Cauliflower Dawn, on a swap or a giveaway. I don't remember, but I got it from Dawn. I know that much because I was excited to get it. I use my Wet n Wild um, blush. Which one is this? Uh, I honestly don't remember what color this is anymore. 
the I tore off the label that says it. I used my Milani uh, powder bronzer in Radiant number zero zero. I'm wearing CoverGirl's uh, number 340 intertwined and it's a beautiful purple and yes I'm notorious for not taking off my tag Shh, don't look at that I used for my under eyes I used my Revlon age defining DNA and this one also I got from Miss Dawn cauliflower Dawn from the sample slot shop uh, my highlight I used doll 10 and I got this in a my glam bag, but I, I'm not prescribed to them anymore, so. Well, I'm not supposed to be, but they keep sending me my bag out anyways and charging me. Anyways, long story short, this is what I used. It's a beautiful um, champagne highlighter, and that's what I highlighted my face with. And that was everything. Pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to get one up maybe one a week or every other week. I know I haven't been around. But my son, um, well, let's start back. My two youngest girls were getting really sick from mold and they were refusing to move us. So they finally did move us to the apartment right next door. Um, and they weren't going to charge us the moving fee and everything. Once we got in there, they decided that we needed to pay $300 in a moving fee for something that was their fault. So... Long story short, we ended up having to move because they they tried, they tried gave us an eviction notice for no reason. And we we won that in court, but we moved. So now we're in a bigger apartment, and it's actually really nice. So when it's not thrashed, since Christmas was here, and it was a mess. I will show you guys our new apartment and where we're at. And um, I've been busy with my vaping. I'm doing great. I've been vaping forever now, so I'm not smoking anymore. So that's... I love it, and um, I do have a vape channel, so that, actually that one I haven't been doing a lot with either, um, so we moved, and my son kind of um, was showing some, uh, I don't want to say behavioral issues, but he was showing some things that were worrisome to me and my husband and the family um, before we moved, and then as we moved, things kind of got progressively worse. So he was just diagnosed with severe combination ADHD, which means he has two different types of ADHD and the severe form of both. And he also has a little bit of a mood disorder, so uh, we had to get that balanced out. So he's on some medication for right now, but he's going to be doing counseling, and I'm hoping we can get him off those because I don't really want him on him. But if he has to be, that's how it's going to be. Um, and I think that's everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a new year, so hopefully a new fresh beginning for all of us, and I will talk to you all soon, and thanks for watching, and I've missed you all. Keep beautiful.